Hey everybody, Dave Williamson here at ToyCarCollector.com, your number one source for Matchbox and Hot Wheels from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, although I don't have any Hot Wheels from the 50s. You know that's true. And um, anyway, today's video is going to be the start of many videos about Matchbox A-Series. That's right, A-Series. That's the original Matchbox first editions made in the 50s and to the early 60s possibly it, it varies from model to model but um, there are some variations in the early models so just because you get an a series doesn't mean it was necessarily from the first year it might be from the third year with some minor variations but these are going to be all beautiful beautiful i got a few that aren't beautiful so what i'm going to do is i'm going to break them down into sets of i think five at a time because in order to cover them properly and not make the video too long, probably just be able to do five. So, without further ado, let's get to the first five right now. But not exactly right now because after all, I am driving in the car, speaking at my phone like an idiot. I hope nobody sees me, but you see me and that's all that matters. So here we go, right now. Hey everybody, Dave Williamson here at ToyCarCollector.com. Let's talk about Matchbox diecast toys the first 40 years. Actually, not even the first 40 years. I want to talk about the first four or five years. If you look at this picture on the front of this book, it has a picture of all of the A-Series Matchbox. I think it's all A-Series, especially at the top. If you notice, you know, the Matchbox, they started with one and then they worked their way up, but not all of these later models came right away. In fact, this book has all the information uh, that I've ever seen about the Matchbox. And this book was produced, I believe, in 1989. 1989. It was a limited edition of, I can't remember, like 4,000 copies, something like that. But it's very, very hard to get this book. It gives you an entire history of Matchbox and the co-founders, Leslie Smith and Jack O'Dell. And uh, how they got into the uh, toy business pictures of the really really old toys pretty cool that they made a review of the company and then how they came up with the idea for the matchbox I actually copied it from somebody else companies going public american challenge look at all this history a lot of beautiful history about matchbox not going to be sharing that with you uh, right at the moment i think all that, that information is available online what i'm interested in really is starting to take a look at the A series Matchbox. Now, A series means that for every model that Matchbox made, um, they started with one, but then they replace, eventually replace one with a new model. So then you have an A, and then you have a B, and on top of that, you have also uh, variations in an A model, for instance. So you could have a 1A1, 1A2, and that sort of thing in the matchbox okay so the first year they officially produced matchbox 1953 now originally when they made the matchbox here's a take a look at the pictures here they used these script boxes have you seen these before there was only a few here's number one number two number three number four number five number six and number seven and they made those in the script they call that see the moco is in a script and then they soon after replaced it with the moco not in a script and so that is the first box that is the second box now in 1953 let's take a look here they actually only made four models and they would have all been in the script box Aveling Barford Ro Roller number 1A, the Muir Hill Side Dumper 2A, Cement Mixer 3A, and the Massey Harris Tractor 4A. And those would be these here. Road Roller, Dumper, Cement Mixer, and the Tractor. And those, of course, are super, super popular. So that is 1953. They were making those. Then in 54, they added four more models. The London Bus, Euclid Dump Truck, Horse Drawn Milk Float, and Caterpillar. And going back to the pictures again, that's one, two, three, four, 
and then for 53, and then 1954, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So what I want to do now in this video is I want to go and see what I have in these models and show them to you. All right, let's get them. All right, I'm going to start out with the 1A Road Roller. Let's take a look and see what I have in here to show you. Now the box, here's two boxes for the Road Roller. I think I have three. Uh, these two look to be very, very similar. Uh, they've got the brown strike on top. They've got blue on the bottom. Yellow, black numbers on both sides. It's a lot of information about boxes that you can find online. Now let's take a look here. So what I found here is that I don't actually have the A-series road roller at all. I think these are B-series road rollers. Now the uh, actual A-series road roller has a full-length canopy and what that means is the canopy goes out longer. It's actually quite a bit different looking. Let's see if I can get a picture of that. All right, coming right out of the gate here, let's open up the second box and see what we have in there. Up, oh, there we go. Here we are, A-Series Road Roller. Now remember, my videos are all done off the cuff, so we don't have any series productions going on here. Now this is an A-Series Road Roller. Wow, isn't it cute? It is cute. It's got the full top here. So this would be then the B-Series. Quite a bit different, really. Quite a bit different. Let's see. We've got the gold trim on there. It's actually completely different, isn't it? Oh, you know, I don't know if I've ever actually had this A-Series in my hand before. I bought a huge collection of all A-Series last year, and I've kind of put them away until I got a chance to really go through them and, and videotape them for you. And, uh, man, I don't know if I'll be able to part with any of these A-Series. Look at that, at least the first, first, very first models. Definitely going to have to keep this guy. Isn't he cute? Wow. A-Series Road Roller. That is very, very nice. Wow. And a box to go in that. But now what would really be special would be to have the script box, which was the very first box. That would be neat. All right, I'm going to put this down, and I'll be right back. Wow, look at this. Now I've got actually A, B, and C models all in a row. That is fantastic. I wasn't even aware I had that. One thing I can tell you about watching my videos is you're going to be learning along with me. A lot of times there are things that I thought I knew, but I don't necessarily know, and I learn them as I'm trying to sh share them with you. And what I've learned this morning is that this one that says flat canopy, and then this one says high peaked canopy, this actually is the flat canopy model, and probably the light green, so that would be the 1A2. So it is a 1A2. Now, I thought that uh, because it said flat canopy, that this is flat-ish, but it's rounded. So I figured there'd be something for that. So that is an A2. This one is a B, and it's light, so it's a B2, 1955. First one's 1953. And then this one would be your C, because the D model, or the fourth variation of this model has plastic wheels so this one is a 1c road roller so here we have the first a b and c models and they also have variations under each one so if you had to have every single model you'd have to have two of the a's two of the b's four of the c's and two of the d's that would be a lot of road rollers wouldn't it all right now it's time to take a look at the number two the number two is the dump truck and i've got a few of them here a couple of them are not great shape like this one here. It's got the dumper as miss is off of its thing and there's no driver. All right, we'll put her down here. Let's see what we've got all together. Got another one uh, also missing the driver, also with the loose on the back. They seem to be the same model, I think. Let's take a look and see what's in these boxes. Number two, dumper. All right, this one, uh-huh, this one is the A-Series, and again, oh, this one has, oh, look at that. There is a difference in the way they made this. This one has little tabs that hold the bed in place, little tabs, and this one has a pin. So this is definitely the A-Series model, not in mint. Looks like uh, somebody couldn't resist playing with this fella. There's a crimped end on that. That's very tiny, very, very tiny. I was hoping this would be in mint condition. Now, this is the... 
uh, the A model, but the um, variation one or variation two, because the first earliest model, these wheels were painted green, painted green. So there we got that. And this looks like a little bit later box because it has the white number on it. It'll be a little bit later than the other one and this also is a number two model oh and it's the plastic wheel so you've got the metal wheel and then you have the plastic wheel which is a later variation cute little guy look at that that's super cute so let's arrange those we've got early boxes now a little bit later so we have a little bit larger that would be for the b series b series i have one of those and nope i got three of those right we got these two missing the drivers and so we've got two boxes for the b series but only one nice b series and we have one box for the a series and we have one a series a few chips on it but it is so old 1953 54 how old did they how long did they make that one so this a series they made from 1953 until 1956 and then replaced in 1957 with this neat little B series and that is your number two matchbox dumper now we're gonna look at number three and number three in the series from 1953 is the orange cement mixer now I think I have a few of these around here but I know I have one in this box let's take a look and see which one it is there are orange wheel ones and there are gray plastic wheel ones Ah, this is one of the original ones, the orange wheel. Look at that, isn't that cute? Every little kid would want one of those. And it actually has a moving part. Very nice. Now this part does, oh, that part also moves. Yep, that part also moves. That's real cool. That is the 3A. Let's take a look at the book here and see what it says about it. Oh dear, look at all these variations. Orange metal wheels, crimped axles. Yep, yeah, we got the crimped axle on there. Can you see that? It's flat. There's a small handle on the rear compartment, four paddles inside barrel. Oh boy, there's nothing inside there. And then there, no handle on rear compartment. Hmm, I guess there's some variations. No handle on rear compartment, no paddles inside barrel, four ribs inside motor compartment. Hmm, all kinds of seven different possible combinations of this little guy so we don't really know which one this one is for sure so we'll just call it a 3a because it does have the metal wheels got one extra box and i think i have more of those let me go check all right check it out look i did find more cement barrels we kind of been holding on to these for some reason let's take a look inside this one oh, it looks like it's about the same as this one just got a little more wear on it all right there's two here's the third one let's look inside oh this one has, there is a difference. There is a difference. If you look inside the barrel here, it's nice and smooth all around. This one has, I think that's what they're calling paddles. Can you see that in there? There's a couple of, no, there's four paddles in that one, four paddles. And when they say handle, I think they mean this right here. So that's a variation from the early, it's an earlier variation than these two. And then here, I also have, oh, look at that. I got a variety of these guys laying around here. This one's box is kind of beat up. Let's see what we have in this one. This one is the gray wheel, gray wheel version. And here's another gray wheel version. And here's another gray wheel version. I guess I haven't been selling these things. And here's another gray wheel version. And they all look, let's check the gray wheels. They all seem to be the same inside. Oh, it's kind of tight there. You can't get it past the wheels oh that's interesting interesting look at that now once they put the big gray wheels on there you can barely get it past the wheels that's funny on some of them it won't go this one will go one way but not the other one way but not the other interesting well that one that one went ahead and moved some of these are real tight look at that you can barely get it through there i wonder why that is anyway there it is we have two variations of the orange wheel and we have four of the same of the gray wheel and that is the number three cement mixer by the way 
on the uh, cement mixer, they actually made this model for eight years, so it was quite popular. I would have to assume from that eight years they made this, and it wasn't until 1959 and later, well, the last two years that they made the gray wheel model, according to the information I have here, 1959 and later, and then they stopped making them in 1961. All right, and the last of the 1953 models is the tractor, and this one is extremely popular. I have just the one to show you today of the little red tractor, and this guy is a very, very popular model, and as you can see, it's very attractive. Look how cute that is. That is fantastic. That is a fantastic model, and that is called the Massey Harris Tractor. And it is shown in the 1953 lineup. Now the book I'm looking at says 54. And there are eight possible variations on that, including uh, left fender Lesney, right fender England. Hmm, I don't see any fenders on that. Same as one, uh, left fender, left fender, left fender, same, left fender, same as above motor closed, huh? Red body, oh, I guess I just found out some additional information. Okay, come to find out that this is not an A-series. No, it's not an A-series because the A-series tractor has fenders, rear fenders on the A-series. So then you go to the B-series in 1957 and you've got no fenders. First model, 4B1, metal wheels with crimped axles. And that's what we have here. The next model would have gray plastic wheels. And the third model has rounded axles. And this would be the 4B1. So I do not have an A-series tractor right at the moment. Let me double check though. Maybe, maybe I do. I've got some more stock. Let me look. Okay, I checked my stock and I just had the 1-4B Massey Harris tractor. So let's see what all we had today. We did have the 2 A and B, the Murhill dumper. Very nice, very nice. One of the little ones. And on the road roller... Number one, we did have the 1A, the B, and the C. So that's all the road rollers, except for the D, of course. And then on the cement mixer, which is number three, we had the A with the orange wheels and the B with the gray wheels. Very, very nice. And there's some other variations out there too, including the paddles inside and the little uh, handle on the back. So look at that. Look how nice those are. That's the models one, two, three, and four for 1953. Man, that is a long time ago. That's five years older than me. That's almost 65 years ago that these Matchbox models were made, and look how beautiful they are. Now, the next video will be for models from 1954, and there were four new models for 54 for a total of eight models in the Matchbox lineup. That's all for now. Thanks, folks. See you later.